guys did want to share a couple of tips with thrifting. I got this cute basket. Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a thrift with me video. I have not filmed one of these in a very long time. I'm pretty sure the last time I filmed a thrift with me was like 2020. And so I'm really excited to take you guys along with me. I go thrifting, I would say pretty consistently, like maybe every two to three weeks, I try to go check out the thrift store just because you can find such good deals at the thrift store. And I decided I was gonna take you guys along with me because these are some of my favorite videos to watch and to film, but especially to watch. So I was like, I'm gonna film one today. So we are at the Goodwill. I am not looking for anything like super, super particular, but I always have things that I kind of keep an eye out for. So I'm going to show you guys our Goodwill. It's not anything special. It's just like your typical Goodwill. Sometimes it can be a bust and we can find absolutely nothing. And then other times, I don't know, someone really good donates and you can find some awesome, awesome stuff. And so hopefully today is one of those days and we can find some good stuff. But if not, I am still going to post this video just to show you guys some real life. You don't always hit the jackpot while thrifting and that's okay. So we're going to go ahead and get into this video. When I come to thrift stores, some things that I keep an eye out for. So I am a mom. I have an almost seven month old daughter, which is just crazy. Um, so for her, I always keep an eye out for clothes because you can get such good brands at literally like an eighth of the price. I have found Kate Quinn here. I have found just like really expensive, good quality brands at the thrift store for like $1.30 per piece, which is just amazing. So I'm always looking out for clothes for her. Also, she is very into books right now and I have a lot of picture books, but I don't have a lot of board books. So I'm always on the lookout for a good board book for her. And then obviously home decor. We actually are in the process of like just redecorating a few different rooms in our house, our living room, our like play area for our daughter our like kitchen area just like everywhere in our house so if i ever see something good home decor wise i will grab that baskets are always a great thing to find at the thrift store wood pieces like shelves hooks stuff like that and sometimes you can find good seasonal items too so those are some things i always keep a lookout for so hopefully we'll find some good stuff today so if you guys are new here welcome my name is Haley. i would love it if you would subscribe and if you aren't already feel free to follow along on instagram i've been posting a lot about just every day-to-day -day life as a mom, as a new mom. I like to post things about baking, thrifting, mothering, just all the things. So if you're interested in any of those, feel free to follow along over there as well. And let's go ahead and get into this video and head into the thrift store. They just opened about an hour ago, so I'm hoping that it's not too busy. The parking lot isn't like too packed, so hopefully we will find some good stuff. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in Golden, golden. I'll follow on golden, golden Golden, golden thing in spring rainbow trout and hummingbird wing golden I'll follow the golden 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 things gold hair gold ring
Hey guys, it is a few days later since the beginning of this video when I went thrifting. It is now a couple days later and I'm sitting down to film the second part of this video which is going to be our thrift haul. I'm so excited about the things that I was able to find. It's a, I would say like a medium sized haul, but honestly, I'm very excited about all the things that I found, so I'm okay with that. I've had all these things sitting out on the table, so I'm excited to finally be able to put them around my house and put them where I want to put them and show you guys what I found. But before I show you guys the haul, I did want to share a couple of tips with thrifting. Um, thrifting can be very hit or miss. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, you head into the thrift store and you just never know if you're going to find a ton of stuff or if you're going to find nothing. But I have been thrifting off and on since I was in college. Um, I started thrifting I think within the first couple of months of me being in college because I was doing practicums for teaching and I did not have any clothes that were like good teaching clothes so I went thrifting for them and then I just have never stopped since. But I've learned some tips over the years that I thought I would share before I get into the haul. So the first tip is if you are able to when you're going thrifting try and go as close to the opening of the store as you can especially if you're going on the weekend. So in this video, I went on a Sunday and it was a Sunday morning and the store opened at 10 a.m. and I got there around 11. And I would say that was like a good time, but ideally I would have gotten there a little bit earlier for a couple of different reasons. One, obviously the store has had less people come through it, which means that the shelves are a little bit more organized. Things haven't been picked through as much. So you'll probably be more likely to find the good stuff because less people have gone through everything and already picked all the stuff out. Also, the store has probably been restocked the night previously, and so everything is nice and organized, and all of the new donated items from the previous day um, are put out, and so you'll have more to choose from. And also, it's less busy. And so that leads me into my second tip, is to really dig through the shelves. Look in the back of shelves. Look in places that you wouldn't expect to find things. Like a couple of these baskets were in like random places, not the basket section, um, because people like obviously like thought they were gonna get something and then they put it back. And so when there's less people in the store, you're able to have more time and ability and room to really dig through the shelves and try to find what you want to find. So that's my second tip is to dig through the shelves, look in the back, look in places that you wouldn't expect to find things and honestly just look in every aisle if you can. I didn't go through the clothes section because I wasn't looking for clothes but look everywhere that you are interested in trying to find something. My third tip is like kind of a tip but also just don't let your location discourage you. I've gone to this one Goodwill multiple times and walked away with nothing and then I've gone a few times and walked away with a ton of stuff. So it really just depends on the day. That's the treasure hunting aspect of thrifting is you can't always expect to find everything that you want every time. It's really hit or miss. And so when we lived in Washington, we lived in a bigger town. Um, we actually lived in a city, a bigger city, and so there was a few different thrift stores around and so I could kind of find out which thrift stores I liked the best and they usually would get in things that I liked. However, here we live in a very, very small town, so this is the one Goodwill. Um, close to me there is a Salvation Army, but I just prefer Goodwill. But I have still been able to find really good stuff even though our town is so much smaller than where we lived previously. So don't let your town size discourage you. You can still find good stuff. But anyways, okay, let's start off this haul. So first thing, this is one of the things I'm most excited about. I actually posted a picture on Instagram of it because I just think it's darling. So I got this cute little basket and it's, so it has this little fruit print around the side with an apple, a pear, and a banana. And then up at the top, there's these little ceramic little handles with the print on it as well and it's in perfect condition and it is pretty teeny tiny like not super tiny but it's a good size and what I imagine this for is for a play kitchen for my daughter Nora who is right now seven months but I'm planning and hoping for her first birthday to get her a play kitchen so when I see things like this that like okay I'm never gonna find this again you know and especially for two dollars and 98 cents so three bucks I'm never gonna find this again and this is just so sweet she can put her little like play food and stuff into it as she grows older i just think it's darling so i grabbed this this was three dollars and then to go along with that little basket i also picked up this little sign to hang on her play kitchen how stinking cute is this so it says homemade recipe for apple pie um it's a little sign and then it has these little teeny tiny um 
I would say this is like metal, metal. It's metal. <laughs> Three little tiny coffee mugs, which I think are so cute. I might change these out for like little hooks so that she can actually take these off and then play with them. But I just thought this like is such a cute little start. And I just like, like that it's unique. That's one thing I like about thrifting is this isn't just from Target. Not every single person is going to have, you know, the exact same things that we have. And I think that's just really unique and so I grabbed this. This was a dollar ninety-eight. So that is also for her um, little play kitchen. And I'm probably gonna take off this little twine thing at the top, but I thought that was cute. Okay, along the basket theme, I also grabbed these two little baskets. These can be used for plants, um, is what I'm imagining. I have a Swiss cheese plant, um, the really long hanging one, and so I want to put that in here. Um, and I'm not sure where this is originally from. It looks like a Target. Oh yeah, it is a Target. It looks like it was from Target uh, dollar spot. So let's see, it was originally $3 and I got it for $1.50. So half off, I'll take it. So I got two of these little matching baskets and I can also use them for whatever organization around the house. You can never have enough baskets is my motto. And then I also got this basket. So this basket is definitely for organizing. It's like the perfect size and it's in perfect condition and it has little handles. I love using these in like our linen closet to put like, I don't know, different rags or I could also use it in our kitchen to put things or our pantry. Just like this is a really good, nice size, sturdy basket. And this was $4.98. So I grabbed this one. And then I picked up a few clothing items for my daughter. She is in like nine month clothing, six to nine month. It honestly just depends on the outfit because with thrifting we found that a lot of times when we buy like nine month or six month clothes, they've like shrunk. Um, and so I don't know if that's why people have donated it, but she like in thrifted clothes will often run like a little bit bigger than what she actually is. She's not like a huge kid by any means, but anyways long rant over i grabbed her this little outfit this is 24 months this is definitely too big for her right now but i just thought it was really cute i love the little buttons and so this would probably be for next mm, spring summer fall i'm not sure honestly but i thought this was cute this was a dollar 98 and then i got her this little romper outfit this is a 12 month size this would probably be for the spring i think this is so cute this was also a dollar 98 which like these prices you guys you cannot find these prices at like the actual store for baby clothes baby clothes can be super expensive um i just posted a haul on instagram actually of our last thrift haul a couple weeks ago and i was able to find some kate quinn items which if you guys know kate quinn is a really nice brand they're like organic cotton um they do have pretty good sales sometimes but it's very expensive and so i found her a few pieces of kate quinn and i have previously as well and so definitely check your thrift stores if you have kids i also grabbed her this little dress which i just think is precious this is also oh this is nine months so she could probably start wearing this um, pretty quick here and then I also grabbed her this little corduroy <laughs> little dress oh my gosh this is baby gap I feel like this is from the 90s um, but I thought this would be cute for like the winter time with like a long sleeve shirt and like some tights or something I just think this is cute so this was 6 to 12 months and this was 2.98. okay and then I got these two little desk organizers i forgot these are called like little book bins is what we called them when i was teaching uh, i'm not sure what they're called like otherwise but i got these two rattan little organizer book bins i think these are so cute oh my gosh i'm so excited about these finds these were both three dollars i took the tag off but um they're three dollars a piece and i'm so excited to put these into our office and just start making that room a little bit cute and then the last two items i'm gonna have to take you out to my garage to show you because they're huge okay you guys i'm out of my garage so don't mind the dirty floors it's ugly yes <laughs> i know but these are the shelves that we got thrifting so they were 396 each there's two different sizes this one is slightly shorter than the other one so we'll have to play around with like if we want to place them like off centered or if we want to place one above the other we'll just kind of have to see this is the style of the like ledge part that attaches to the wall so pretend this is the wall 
this is that part and then the shelf part on the top as you can see it needs a little bit of love the stain isn't horrible actually but we probably are going to sand it down and then add our own stain we need to do a little bit of TLC with these parts attaching to this and we'll just give it a little bit of love but for four bucks like this is a great <laughs> starting point for a little DIY project so I'm excited that I found these but they are these two big shelves so they definitely need a little bit of TLC we are planning on probably sanding them down and restaining them and then potentially changing out the brackets I'm not exactly sure it's gonna be a project for Warren and I but if you guys are interested in seeing like some DIY stuff we do do a lot of DIY projects around our house we've redone our house completely um and we're in the process of continuing to redo it and so we do a lot of things diy but both of those shelves they were four dollars each which just for the wood that is way cheaper than if we went to home depot and bought shelves ourselves and made them from scratch so for this we have at least a starting point and so we have you know the pieces already cut to the length and stuff like that and so we are planning on probably hanging them in our living room we have a blank wall um and i've always wanted shelving like that and so i'm so excited that i was able to find them at the thrift store so anyways you guys that is my little thrift store haul i feel like we found some really good stuff i'm excited i like to go to the thrift store i would say every couple of weeks and so if you guys are interested in these types of videos i can continue to share them here i also do post um thrift hauls over on my instagram so if you are interested in seeing more thrift hauls i have a highlight over there i also have a few reels and so definitely go check out my instagram page and you can check out some hauls that we've done previously but let me know in a comment if you guys enjoy these kinds of videos and also if you do thrift let me know what your best find that you've ever found thrifting was i would say my favorite find i've ever found I don't know, I'd really have to sit down and like think about it. Probably all the clothes that I found were because it saved us so much money to find her clothes thrifty. Or, I don't know, I'd have to sit down and think about it. But if you guys have one in your mind that like sticks out. Oh, actually, probably, this isn't exactly a thrift find. It's a Facebook market find. But we got this beautiful hutch um, from Facebook Marketplace. We are planning on switching out the handles eventually and I need to do a little bit of more organizing over here. But we got the hutch, this table, the chairs, um, and then we have a little bookshelf on the side. We got all those furniture pieces for $150, which is just like crazy because the hutch itself like definitely could have gone for way more. But that is definitely probably my favorite thrift find. It's a Facebook market find, but it's still thrifting, but just online. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also make sure to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.